Hello, this is Ron Clark. You're listening to Lesson 4 in the Magic of yod heh vav adonai Having successfully pursued Lessons 1, 2, and 3, you should now be capable of performing the canticle with ease. You should be able to speak the canticle at the proper tonality and rhythm using the threefold magical speech while empowering it with your energetic visualizations. All of this should be an easy matter for you to accomplish by now. Therefore, we will now focus upon the ways that you can use the magic of yod heh vav heh adonai There are two points in the canticle where a pause is appropriate. The first point is between Adonai and Rabono Shelolam. This is a crucial juncture in the structure of the canticle. It's the point between the accumulation of light and the expulsion of light. When you speak the segment from Ani through Adonai, you are accumulating a certain quantity of light energy and you are holding it to yourself. This is a very dynamic energy which should be sensed as a physically energizing pressure. To begin with, I suggest three repetitions of the first segment. Let's do this together to demonstrate. There will be a brief pause of one or two breaths between each repetition. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Okay, now hold the energy and during this pause stabilize the light structure. Now a second time. Layer the light energy you accumulate over what is already present. Let this repetition double your accumulation. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Take a moment to sense the increased energy and stabilize the light structure. Now a third time. Layer this over what is already present and let it triple the original accumulation. Ani yod heh Adonai. Very well. Now release this accumulated energy by performing the canticle all the way through to Amen. Ani yod heh vav heh Adonai. Rebon shalom. Amen. In future, as you say the Ani yod heh vav heh Adonai part of this final repetition, you should not actually accumulate a fourth charge of the light energy. Instead, merely set what has already been accumulated into motion, stir it up and dynamize it, and get it prepared for your expulsion. Now let's go through the entire process of triple accumulation and expulsion straight through. Remember, we start with three repetitions of the segment Ani through Adonai for our accumulation, and then close with a single repetition of the entire canticle for our expulsion. Ani yod heh vav heh Adonai 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 Rebon o shelolam Amen Let's do that once more. Ani yod heh vav heh Adonai Ani yod heh vav heh Adonai Ani yod heh vav heh 
Adonai Hani Yod He Vav He Adonai Ribbon Shelam Amen. Very well. At the end of such an accumulation, you should be certain that you have rid yourself of the entire accumulation of light energy. You will, of course, still feel energized by the experience, but you must not feel overly so. If you feel that you have not completely expelled your accumulation, then simply visualize any excess flowing out through your feet and into the receptive earth. Now, the next phase of our work involves impregnating this accumulated light energy with our intention, desire, or will. We must give it a specific purpose. Our purpose will be to create a blessing of well-being for everything that our energy encounters on its journey to the edges of the infinite universe. This operation occurs during the pause between Adonai and Rabono Shalalam. Once we have accumulated our triple charge of light energy, we will spend a few empty breaths where all we do is focus our intention and impress it upon the accumulated energy. Let's begin with our triple accumulation. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Ani yod he vav he Adonai Ani yod he vav he Adonai now focus upon your intention of blessing and make the accumulated charge of energy conform to it with your mind. With your mind and with your emotional passion, cause the light energy to assume the correct vibratory rate for manifesting a sense of well-being in all that it encounters. Just let yourself do this. Don't try to figure out how to do it or what well-being looks like or anything of the sort. Just do it. Let it flow of its own accord. Your subconscious instinct knows what to do without even thinking about it. Very well. Now let's repeat the canticle all the way through and send our blessing energy outward to the edges of the infinite universe. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Ribbon no shellam. Amen. Wonderful. Let's add one final ingredient, and then we will practice the entire triple accumulation, impregnation of blessing, and then expulsion three times through. This last factor is what I call shepherding. By this I mean that we add our own conscious intent to the mix while the light energy we've just sent outward rebounds back toward us. The light energy we send out should reach the philosophical edges of the infinite universe in that moment when the last of our breath is spent on Rabono Shalolam. With the inhale that follows, the light energy begins to rebound. It echoes back toward us, just like the ripples in a pond reverberate back upon their source. This is another critical juncture, since this is when the changes caused by the first outward wave of light energy are concretized. This echo, having been touched by the divine through its brushing against the philosophical edges of the infinite universe, is a special substance. It is a universal fixative. It's what sets in stone, so to speak, the changes we have wrought through our blessing. When we add our conscious intent to this particular phase of our creation, we can multiply its effect exponentially. So, this final factor in our canticle is where we get to add extra oomph to the effectiveness of our intended blessing. This process is similar to what I said about making the accumulated light energy reflect and manifest our intention. This is also something that you need to just do without rationalizing it. You will know instinctively what to do. As you perceive the returning wave of blessing, make the ripples reflect your intention. See your intention crystallizing within the essence of everything the wave passes through. 
Use your mind's power to aid the universal fixative. And then, with the closing Amen, make it a completely concrete reality. At that moment, the echoing ripple returns to you. So, with this final ingredient included, let's perform the entire extended canticle. We will begin with our triple accumulation and then pause for three complete breaths while we impregnate our accumulation with our blessing of well-being to all. Then we will expel our blessing with the Ribono Shalom and pause for another three breaths while we shepherd its return. And then we will close with the Amen. Ani Yodhe Vave Adonai Ani Yodhe Vave Adonai Ani Yodhe Vave Adonai now impregnate the accumulation. Now expel it. Ani Yodhe Vave Adonai Ribbon Shellalam. Now shepherd its return. Now concretize it. Amen. Wonderful. Now let's do that again, but before we do, I want to remind you about the threefold magical speech. Remember that you are not just speaking normally, but physical astramentally. You are speaking with your mind, your heart, and your body. Very well, let's proceed, but this time I will not speak during our two three-breath pauses. Ani yod he vav he Adonai 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 Ribbon o shellalam. Amen. Wonderful. Now let's do the entire operation one last time. Ani yod he vav he Adonai 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 Ribbon o shellalam Perfect. 
Now we must turn our attention away from what we have just accomplished. This is an important step in any magical operation. At the end, you must create a true end and sever a link between your mind and what has just transpired. The more abruptly and firmly you do this, the better. The canticle that forms the exterior of this magic of yod heh adonai can be used in many different ways. What you have just learned is the complete working of the canticle, or what I call the full form. I realize that there is a lot to keep track of during the full form, but don't worry, it will become automatic with practice. What now takes intense concentration, slow thinking, and lots of empty breaths will eventually occur within the span of mere seconds. Likewise, your perception of the light energy will increase and mature with practice, as will the quantity you are capable of accumulating. The simplest form of the magic of yod heh vav -He adonai mimics the breath cycle itself. With the simple form, there is no accumulation, impregnation, or shepherding. The Ketherick light is merely drawn down and expelled, drawn down and expelled, over and over, for as many repetitions as seems appropriate. This practice has a tonic effect upon the astramental body and helps establish the Kabbalistic light structure within. It clears the channels of light within your whole being. The full form has many ritual uses. Primarily it makes for quick and powerful accumulation of energy. The segment from Ani through Adonai can be repeated as many times as desired, and you can thus accumulate as large or as dense a charge of light energy as you desire. The full form's light energy can be directed outward toward all others, or be more specifically aimed at a single person or group, or it can be turned directly inward upon your own self. With the blessing we have just performed, we have spread our light energy outward toward all others. If you wish to focus it upon a specific target, then the times for targeting are during the impregnation of your intention upon the accumulated light energy, and then again during the shepherding phase. In any event, you must still send it out to the edges of the infinite universe. But when you wish to focus on a target, you must make your target the exact center point of the returning wave. In other words, your target must be the point at which the echoing ring of waves shrinks back to nothing. If you are the target, then the wave of light energy returns finally to you and nowhere else. One thing you should be aware of is that this canticle does not work if the desire you impress upon the accumulated light energy would result in a harmful or negative effect. There are two reasons for this. Number one is the cathartic source of the light employed, and number two is because we are sending this light out to the philosophical edges of the infinite universe. In other words, we are touching the divine. The divine touch is transformative. And when we send a negative or harmful energy unto it, it is returned to us in a new form. When what we send to the divine is overly negative, it returns only to us. But when we send blessing, it returns multiplied a thousandfold, and not only to us alone. This ends Lesson 4. I suggest that you experiment with these new additions to your practice and become familiar with their inclusion. When you feel ready, you may move on to Lesson 5 and learn how to create and maintain your own personal shield using the magic of yod heh vav -He adonai This has been Ron Clark. My best to you.